What's going on, guys? Chaz just out here with another NCAA 2013 Dynasty video. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded last. That's, you know, sometimes stuff just doesn't work out like you want. Windstorms come along, internet goes down, take a trip, so you're out of town. Sometimes stuff like that just happens. And so, that's probably the reason I have not put a video up for. I don't know how long it's been. It's been quite a while, though. So, anyway, I'm back, and we're Dynasty. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say dynasty it up, I guess. Take on Rice this week, and coming up to this game, I was a little bit hyped up for it. I mean, you kind of forget my Season 2 game against these guys because we were in the thick of the season. We had a great team. You know, we'd only lost, like, one game, two games. We were a top 25 team when we played these guys last year, so you kind of forget about this game. But you go back two years, my first year coaching at UTEP, offensive coordinator. We're playing Rice. I, we were like 2 and like 9 or something. We, we were awful, terribly awful. And, you know, I was just kind of thinking we'd come in, roll over Rice, end the season with a win, and go on from there. Well, I was wrong. In fact, we gave up the NCAA sack record and we ended up getting beat very bad so yeah right now the series is tied at one hopefully so this will probably decide who wins it because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to put up another season in, in the time that I have until NCAA 14 drops I'm definitely going to try because I don't know what else I would do if I didn't try so I'm gonna definitely try but and we have to push, push quickly because NCAA 14 is coming and it is coming quick. And it's looking pretty sweet. If anybody plays this game, follows it, some of the new features that are coming out, well, not really new features, but some of the things they're doing, pretty cool. Again, they're putting a halftime show in. They're fixing the running game up a little bit more this year. With, that, with the 13, it was more fixing the passing game, read and react defense. Offenses were working better through the passing game, so it was really pass-oriented and this year, they're fixing the running game. They're working on the running game, so it's going to probably be a more run-oriented video game. <clears throat> Hopefully, it'll be more balanced, though. Definitely leaning towards that. It's got the new physics engine in it, so it's going to be a pretty sweet game as far as I can tell. So anyway, I'm going to dive into the gameplay now. We've got 3.23 left in the second quarter. Just getting the man to jump offside and... I don't know. Whatever. First down of five, though, UTEP, we are down by two, nine to seven. Kind of an awkward score. Give it up three field goals, and we got in the end zone once with that a, with a deep throw. I'm kind of tongue-tied tongue tonight. <laughs> anyway, first down of ten, Jeffrey. No, that's Bell, actually. He's losing a yard. Um, Daniels was injured. He sprained something. I don't know. He's out for the next two weeks. You'll see an injury report some at some point in this game because... Well, I guess you'll see. Landor is out right now. So Gray's in. Landor came out injured. Gray is in. And he fumbles right there. Covington's got it. And he's going to give Rice the ball right back. Not very happy that Landor is not in right now. Landor is injured. He has a mouth concussion. He's out for the rest of the game. You'll see the injury report here later on. But I figured I'd just tell you right now. But Rice, though, picking off Gray on the corner route. And... It's not, and there you go, I got tired of it. Spread the elbow for Daniels, he's out for two more weeks, but Landor out for the game. That is not something we like, especially because Gray makes throws like that. And I really do not trust him. The one time he started, the one time he actually even played, we got no offensive production. We ended up losing to Arkansas, so it was just bad all around. But anyway, he's making one good play. Frey tag is going to get past the 50-yard line. Briggs a tackle inside the 40-yard line. Nice little play there. With seven seconds left in the first half, we are down by nine points. Not too bad. Too bad? What am I saying? Not too good. Not too good. Oh, man. I am tired. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, first down and ten. Seven seconds left before the half ends. Gray throwing deep to Freytag, who's going to score. Diving in the end zone. Penguin sliding in for the touchdown. Making it 16-14. to 14. Going into the half for celebrating, taking that momentum in right when we need it. So we're getting the ball back. Third quarter with some very good field position defense. Probably kept up the turnover. Patterson's going to drop the ball there. Gray, 
Oh, man. Even having him in right now is stressing me out. In the game, I'm not even playing the game right now. I'm just voicing over for it. And he's making me nervous. And he's, I, this is like two weeks after I played the game. All right, third down 10. We got another man to jump. Gray looking. Going to get sacked. Doesn't matter that we did get an offsides call. So it'll be third down and five. And look at that name. If you could see that name, like that, that is an insane name. I'm not even going to try to say that. Jeffrey, though, on the read option, he's going to keep the ball, pick up three yards, fourth down and two for UTEP. And Valdez is coming in, and he's going to actually miss that field goal. That rarely happens. And I mean rarely. I think that was the first field goal I've seen him miss since I've been coaching here. So, I mean, he's been a pretty reliable kicker when I'm watching him. First down on 10, Gray going deep to Freytag, who's got it. 20, 15, 10, 5, and touchdown. Freytag pumping up the UTEP crowd and hopefully leading us to a victory. 18 seconds left in the third quarter. It is 23 to 20. Rice is just pounding on our defense. Kind of a little bit discouraging. that We can't get a defensive stop, but as far as we're concerned, they can't get a defensive stop either. We're just throwing deep on them all day long. But we're getting sacked on the last play of the third quarter. Third down 21, heading into the fourth quarter. Play action. The corner bid on it to Leslie. Leslie's got it. 30, 20. Leslie's going to go untouched. Touchdown. Diving over the pylon. We got the corner to bite on that play action, giving us the lead. The defense came up with a big stop, 27 to 23. In the fourth quarter with 3.55 left in the ball game. Second down and six. Jeffrey on the handoff. Jeffrey's got some room. He doesn't have the speed I want, but he's going to get it inside the 40-yard line. Just imagine if Daniels had been there. That would have been a touchdown. Anyway, Gray dropping back. Quick slant to Leslie, who's going to pick up the first down. Looking good. Driving. Getting hopefully another touchdown. We want to put this game away for sure. First down and 10 to Bell. Jeffrey was out with a minor injury. Inside the 20-yard line, we go, making it second down and three. A hurry-up play here to Bell, outside. Pick up the first down, breaks a tackle inside the 15. Jeffrey's back in. He's getting us inside the 10, not the 5. Almost the 5, though. Second down and six. Jeffrey on the handoff. Now we're inside the 5. Third down and four. Read option. Gray keeping this one. He's going to score. There we go. There we go. 34 to 23 is your score with a minute 45 left in the ball game. It's looking like David Gray did not choke this game away, which is great because we're Oh, he had a man open deep. Didn't hit him. Didn't hit him. Oh well. Anyway, when we get our full team back and healthy, we are going to be someone you won't want to mess with. And it's going to be the same thing as last year. Jeffrey was out, though so that was the problem. Jeffrey was out until the Houston game. So this year it's with Daniels. He should be back for the Houston game. We definitely need him back for the Houston game. Oh, Leslie on the on the nice little fly there. He's gonna score. Really putting that game away. And here's the celebration. David Gray leads the UTEP Miners to a victory over the Rice Owls. Not too big of an accomplishment, but it is a win. And we survived, which is good without. We survived without Deshae Landor or Jarrett Daniels, which is definitely a good sign that our team is has got depth about at all the skill positions, at all the positions that we need depth. We've got depth, which is very, very good since we are very we're a very young team. Deshae Landor is a sophomore, Jan Daniels is a freshman. So I mean, next season we're gonna be loaded. So I can I almost can't wait till that till next season, but. Anyway, guys, this video is about to wrap up. Probably wasn't the best video I've had, but I'm a little bit rusty. It's all right, though. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and comment. Tell me you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, have a great day, and we'll see you next time, guys.